Hello, amazing people out there. How are you doing tonight? I'm so happy to be here with you guys. I am so excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am, but I am just absolutely excited to be uh, coming back to Winnipeg at the end of April to teach at their uh, the, the MTAM 50th anniversary. 50th birthday, this is a huge thing, you guys. It's absolutely gonna be a fantastic event. There's so many great presenters and instructors that are gonna be there. I'm so uh, honored to have uh, been asked to come back there and uh, can't wait to be there. Uh, first thing I need to do is say a huge thank you to the whole MTAM uh, elves behind the scenes, particularly Shelly. She's just a fantastic person to work with, and um, uh, you guys have no idea the amount of work that she puts in, that the amount of work that really all of the MTAM uh, puts in for all of you guys. So whenever you can see anybody from there, and especially Shelly, um, walk up, give her a big hug, say thanks, because she's awesome. So I'm coming out to teach two courses to you guys. So uh, the first one is postural awareness. Now, you know, posture is just a huge, huge rabbit hole that you can go down. And uh, people tend to be very uh, sort of either on one side of the fence or on the other side of the fence, very extreme about, you know, who it's applicable to and when and why and how. And, um, you know, it can be a very div div divisive, divisive. People can be divided on um, on their perception of it. So we're gonna take a different look at it and we're gonna look at it from a number of different points of view. We're gonna look at posture through history. So from an anthropological point of view, we're going to look at it through the military, uh, its uh, effect on military personnel. We're gonna look at when it entered into uh, the medical realm and when it got catastrophized and medicalized and pathologized. We're gonna look at how posture has been used in order uh, to control race and sex and politics. We're gonna look at, politi uh, at uh, posture today to see um, what's happening with it, where we're at, what does some research say, which is good research, which is really bad research, um, and how it affects us as clinicians and our own, uh, our own treatments with our patients. We're gonna dispel some myths and some trends and then we're gonna look at who it matters for because there definitely is some people that uh, addressing their posture, it matters. We used to think that it mattered for 100% of the people. Now we recognize that it kind of just applies to 1% of the people. So we're gonna talk about that 1% and then we're gonna look at as manual therapists, what can we do with our hands and what can we do without our hands but within our scope of practice to help these people. So we gotta look at the research we got to look at some myths and trends and some ideas and some thoughts and perceptions about certain things. We got to look at the context of which those things are presented and how we present certain aspects to our patients. Is it really an injury? We're not quite sure. Will it lead to injury? We'll have to talk about that. And when we're talking about that, we got to talk about some treatment. And when we talk about treatment pertaining to anything, but in this case, posture, we gotta talk about why. Why are we looking at it? Who are we looking at it? What are the outcomes that we're hoping to get from it? So on and so forth. The next course I'm gonna be teaching is one of my most popular courses. It is techniques for the shoulder, because I don't know about you, but in my practice, there's so many different shoulders that walk in all day long and they all come in completely different from one another. And you know, sometimes you just sit there and go, what am I even doing with these things? So we're gonna try and simplify and clean up a few things for you. We're gonna talk about the capsulo ligamentous sensory properties. We're also gonna talk about the mechanical properties of the ligamentous tissues. We're gonna review some of the research on how injuries occur. You know, I never have anybody that comes into my office saying that they feel awesome. Everybody usually comes in with some type of pain, right? But is it really pain or is it something else? So we're gonna talk about uh, that sort of aspect. We're also gonna look at the neurological um, trajectory of how 
an injury or a sensitization to a tissue occurs and how it ends up being either referred pain or pain. We're also going to talk about how referred pain actually happens. We're going to talk about the neurophysiological um, mechanism for how referred pain happens. And we're going to take a, look, uh, take a look at the pain referral patterns that I documented in this book, Ligamentous uh, Pain Referral Patterns for People. And uh, we're going to talk about those. I'm going to bring some books and posters along with me so that you guys can have a look at those things. I got some case studies for you because we get a lot of, we love case studies. Uh, this is actually a friend of mine. Um, I was present for both of his clavicular fractures. We got to talk about what we can do for, as manual therapists. So, you know, is it just what we do with our hands or is it everything else within our scope that we uh, utilize to the best of our abilities to improve the quality of outcome and the quality of life up for our patients? I'm going to bring some research along with me. These are three research projects that I completed over the last few years. And uh, I presented this research at the uh, BC RMT uh, Research and Rehabilitation Symposium last year. So I'm going to bring them all the way up to Winnipeg for you guys. Uh, so you can have a look at them and you can gain some information and some education to improve your practice and improve the quality of life of your patients. It's the most important thing. Like I said, I'm going to bring some books and some posters along for you guys. And I just honestly, I can't wait to get out there and see you guys and be a huge part of the, uh, the, the MTAM's uh, 50th anniversary. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. So uh, looking forward to being out there, guys. Register for the courses. Come and say hi. If you can't get into the courses, if you're going to go take one of the other amazing courses that are out there, come and say hi. I would love to see you guys. So... Um, We'll see you guys out there and uh, hope you guys are having an awesome time. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.